You know, this has been a, a very strange flu season with the flu vaccine not covering mm -hmm. the virus that has been that has been running around America. Unfortunately, people are more and more often getting the flu. So we've got doctors and pharmacies that are scrambling to keep up with the flu rush. Also, just yesterday here in San Diego, all of the Scripps hospitals said they were going to be screening anybody who comes to the hospital to visit a patient. And if they exhibit signs of the flu, under unless there is an extraordinary ordinary circumstance perhaps you know if they're if they're going to visit a dying relative they're going to be asked to to go home until those flu symptoms subside they're just trying to protect some of those patients that's right let's go right now to uh dr al johnson who's an internal medicine doctor and uh doctor it seems like um it, this peaked around christmas am i correct uh yes and it was different in different parts of the country but uh, in your part uh that appears to be the case. Okay, so it peaked ar around then, but we've still had a lot of people scrambling to keep up with the rush. Are we having trouble with the flu, like Tamiflu and some of the flu treatments? Well, that's what is uh, reported in some parts of the country. Uh, I've been, I'm in Dallas, and I've been able to get it here in Dallas just fine. There's occasional pharmacy that's out. But uh, in general, the supply is... is present so apparently um the people who make the flu shots uh kind of missed the mark on on what the flu was going to be uh the type of of strain that it was going to be this year so do you still should you even bother to get a flu shot at this point well it is beneficial because it does have the three major strains uh and they're the same as last year it's that this year's flu strain is just a little variant of what was last year's. So if you get the flu shot, it does protect you against what those common strains are. And then it does boost your immune system somewhat in general so that it, it may help you to fight the other uh, flu viruses that come along. Now, I've, I've had friends and, and people who have written in to me saying that they thought that they had allergies, and then it turned in, you know, the next day it turned into an actual flu, and they could have sworn that all they had was a little hay fever the day before. Is that a part of how this thing sort of dupes you into, you know, you go to work and you feel, oh, fine, you're sneezing, but then you realize, oh, good Lord, I've just infected the entire building. Yeah, and that's what happens, <laughs> unfortunately. So, uh you know, you, it, it's hard to prevent that, but once you find out, it makes sense to, to not expose other people. Um, What's the easiest then, way to tell if it's if it's flu or an allergy or maybe even just a common cold? Well, usually the flu starts with uh, aching and fatigue, where a lot of the allergy, the true allergy, is, is itchy eyes, runny nose, uh, congestion. So... If you get that weird, kind of chilled, achy, fatigue feeling, that probably is the flu virus. Uh, but what are the other symptoms besides the aches and and uh, yeah. things like that? Well, you get fever with it, then you get fever with it. And then it depends on, uh, usually their respiratory symptoms follow that. Okay, so the aches first, and then you kind of get the cough and the and the the sniffles. Right, as the inflammation and, uh, progresses. And what about a cough? Because you get the you know you get the sniffles and you get a cough with the cold. Do you get a fever with the cold? Yeah, uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Ah, oh, so this is, so it's just it's it's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> well, a cold is a virus typically. Yeah. So you know, flu is a virus. Cold is a virus. Um, it's really hard to tell. So if you're having symptoms and you want to be uh, uh, aggressive in the treatment, then be sure to get into your doctor quickly and they can get you on the anti-flu medicine like Tamiflu. And and it's always uh, important to remember that uh, younger people uh, and and the elderly. I mean, I'm talking about kids and the elderly and people with compromised immune systems usually hits them much harder. Correct. Right, and they're the ones that get secondary complications. So the, even though it starts off with a virus, it can go into a bacterial uh, infection, which causes pneumonia and much severe problems. And that, it's the complications from that that causes the severe uh, medical situations. So many times uh, you need an antibiotic 
to take care of the secondary infection. Right, the sinus infections yeah. and the lungs, et cetera. Right. All right, Doc, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Dr. Al Johnson.